Ventoy. What is Ventoy? It's an open source tool to create bootable USB drive. You don't need to keep formatting the disk over and over or the drive. You just copy the file, or ISO file in this case, onto the USB once you've run this little uh, program on it. We're going to go to Downloads and here's our Linux version here. So this is for Linux. I'm on Linux Mint. We click the Linux link. This is their GitHub page. We scroll down a little bit. And here's the file we're after. Ventoy 1077 Linux Tar GZ. That's it's only five days old. 19 megabytes. And we click that. There it is downloading. Only take a few seconds. This is our downloads directory. There's the uh, zip file, so we'll double click it. We'll click extract and extract again, just back into downloads in this case. And we can quit out of there. And there's the extracted folder. I'll remove the zip file. This is our extracted folder. We'll open that up. Now they say you can just double click this, and I'm sure I did it the other day and it worked. However, I've had trouble since. I've been playing around with this a little bit. There's some information in the README file here. But what I've discovered, the easiest way to do it is to right click on this and run as administrator. Put in your password. And there we go. We can minimize all these other things down out of the way a little bit. If you do not get the run as administrator option for some reason, if you open the terminal in this location, so I'll just right click in here, and we'll go open in terminal, and we type sudo space period forward slash, and we start typing the name Ventoy GUI dot x86 underscore 64, and press enter. Again, put in your password. Obviously you need sudo because you need elevated privileges for this. And there it is, it starts it that way there. So that's if, just in case you don't get the option to right click and run as administrator. And that'll just bring up the little tool once again for you. Alternatively, you probably could go open as administrator and just open the whole folder as administrator. Put in your password. And there it is there. We'll double click it and see what happens. And there we go, it just runs that way as well. So there's three different ways to uh, run that file. Here's our little GUI. And we can see here SDE 64 gigabyte SanDisk. So I've already plugged my USB drive in. And we'll just double check by using disks. And here we can see 62 gigabyte SanDisk. And that it's SDE. We can see it's SDE, SDE, 62 gig drive because you obviously don't want to overwrite one of your hard drives or something accidentally. So we're comfortable that's our correct disk. Press install. OK, and here it's just double checking, so we press OK a second time. Ventoy has been successfully installed. OK, so we're pretty much we're done with all that stuff now. Back to the file manager, and we can see here Ventoy. So let's click on it and mount it. There it is there. I go to my downloads in my ISO directory. Let's just copy a couple of these across. The 
this is USB 3 so it's fairly fast and now we can see Ventoy and it's now got these two ISO files on it all we need to do now is restart the computer press whatever key on your keyboard tells it to boot from the USB device and you should be able to reboot into those ISO files which we'll give a demonstration of now unfortunately I can't record my desktop while the computer's still starting so I've just had to use the camera here on the monitor this gives you a bit of an idea and there's Ventoy there's the two ISO files and I can choose either one of those let's try the redo one and see how we go that looks like it's worked okay there's redo rescue just going to shut down now once the computer shut down I'm going to remove the USB restart the computer should just boot straight back into Linux Mint it's pretty simple just to be able to copy the ISO directly onto that USB drive I've used multi-system in the past but now that I've got Ventoy working that seems like a much easier option to me I hope it works as well for you if you give it a go